Affordable Space Adventures was released in 2015 on the Wii U Digital Store. The game combines stealth and puzzle-solving elements within a fun and quirky spaceship simulator. The comical calamity of errors keeps the players entertained and motivated. While there is not much of a story, there is a small presence of one. The dark tone and ever-threatening presence lend well to motivating the player to push forward in hopes of survival. The visuals and sounds are appropriate for this game. Nothing here seems truly out of place. Now for the star of the show, the controls. Sadly, I've only played this game in single player, but the gamepad plays a crucial role. As the engineer controlling power levels in various systems, well, you may just need to play it to fully understand. Affordable Space Adventures is a great game that I highly recommend and recommend playing with friends. The game feels like it was made by Douglas Adams or Terry Pratchett. The spike in difficulty at the end of the game is well explained and provides a great challenge. Yes, the game is somewhat simple, but sometimes simple is good. Now let's get to the game score. Like every game on the planet, we start with a starting score of 3. Now, unfortunately, the game is digital only, so it loses a point here. The Immersion gains two points. The Gimmick, which is the gamepad, gains a point. Voice Actors for English gain a point. Game Length, two points. Story is a little bit on the weak side, so it's only one point. Level Design is about what I would expect and gains two points. The complete experience is definitely there and, and exceeded my expectations, so it gains three points. The sense of progression was really nice, being able to find um, new parts for your ship and, and things of like that uh, definitely added to the experience, so it gains three points. Fairness, punishing, RNG, about what I expected, two points. Game value to MSRP cost. If I remember right, this game was like around 20 bucks or something like that on the store. So it gains two points. Couch co-op. Definitely. You can play up to three players on this thing and it's, it's just a blast. So it gains a point there. Soundtrack. It's what I expected, so two points. Visuals, again, met my expectations for two points. The difficulty which was part of the champion of this game, was just right. It pushed you just enough so that the player became better and that you didn't have to go back and try to rely on uh, you know, gadgets and stuff like that. So it gains three points. Uh, gameplay and combat uh, gains two points. Controls is definitely gives you three points because that exceeded my expectations by quite a wide margin. Replay value, um, again, it's it's more about the experience and laughing with your friends and stuff, or laughing at yourself, so it gains three points, and I can definitely see some people trying to speedrun this game. And then sense of accomplishment. I definitely had a huge sense of accomplishment when I beat this game, so it definitely gets three points. Overall, Affordable Space Adventure on the Wii U totals out for a score of 40 points. It was really, really, really high for a Wii U game. Uh, it's on the level of most of my average PlayStation 4 reviews. But that's all I have for you this time. Um, have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.